how to clean a dishwasher and the part you might be missing. Sometimes the cleaner needs cleaning too. In this video, I'm gonna test two methods to clean your dishwasher. The first one is a DIY one, and the other way is something you can buy at the store. Over time, a combination of food particles, moisture, and lack of light lead to mold, mildew, and odors. I mistakenly thought since my dishwasher is quite new and we rinse off our plates, it wouldn't need this cleaning yet. But I was wrong, and you may also neglect to keep up on this important cleaning task. I've never used a dishwashing cleaning product before, so I'm really curious how well it will work. Now mine is stainless inside and it looks very clean. However, lurking in the bottom of the dishwasher, there was a special surprise waiting. First, I'm gonna go for the DIY method. Put a cup of baking soda on the bottom and run your dishwasher at the hottest, longest setting possible. Then when you're done with that, you're gonna do the exact same thing only this time you're gonna use your vinegar. The cleaning cycle has completed, one with the vinegar and one with the baking soda. And the big reveal, okay, so there's baking soda residue there. And you can see it looks just as bad to me. It looks awful. The next thing I'm gonna do, the commercial method. This one promises to clean the filter. I'm just gonna shake that up. By the way, it looks really nice and clean. Just need to wipe it down next, but what about this? Is this going to work? Is it gonna clean that filter? Because I don't think it's going to. Take off the sticker, place it upside down in the bottom dish rack. I can't wait to clean my dirty dishes and for this test to be over. So there's no other detergent in there. And again, I'm gonna do the most high temperature, longest cycle. Almost four hours on this machine. Here we go. Okay, the big reveal. Weird enough, it didn't get the baking soda stains. And let's see if it got the filter. I don't think it will. I don't know if it looks any different than what I used the baking soda and vinegar to clean, but uh, here you go, guys. It looks about the same to me. So that did not work. That is so disappointing. I do not like it when cleaning products make a promise that I think is really bold and unlikely to happen because when I see the results, I'm disappointed. So I'm just gonna do some Dawn Power Wash. I like that you can target it and put it right where you need it and it can get in those areas. Whereas the Dawn Liquid would be a little bit harder. I'd have to soak it. Okay, and then I have this Brillo brush. I got this at the Dollar Tree. I wish that this came undone and I could separate it, but it's actually all one piece. So I'm gonna get a toothbrush and see if it'll fit. Oh, look at all that. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's rinse this off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Like the day it was born. That is so satisfying. You can once again see through it. Like I kind of predicted, it's gonna have to be mechanically removed. It's not coming out with any kind of cleaner, anything you put in your dishwasher, nothing's gonna work. And now we was gonna use some Windex and a microfiber cloth and finish. But look at that. I got off that residue that was there that neither cleaner got off. I'm just gonna shine this up wipe all that down too. Very important is these side rails. These always get dirty. And right here on my controls, like that, and get on this side. And last of all, you can take a cloth or go ahead and grab your toothbrush. And there's these rubber seals. These can also trap a lot. Yucky. Um, another place that people often miss, these places right here. 